Hey guys, Lauren Oliver here. Currently on the road, I was just uh, touring with my best friend Elizabeth Miles. Her Fury trilogy just finished up with Eternity. So we've been bouncing around in various places. I'm not at home. Tomorrow I leave for Spain. You're catching me on the fly, but I would never leave, leave the country without um, finishing up my Lauren Oliver, Ask Lauren Oliver for the week. So this week it's episode 19 and um, I'm gonna have to look on my phone a little bit. Sorry, I also don't have email. These, this is what happens when you travel all the time. You never know where your stacks are and sometimes you don't have internet. Kate Blue from YouTube asked, how did you create the end of Requiem? Were there certain techniques you used or just, or something that you drew from or did you just follow your creative instinct? Well, I'm the kind of writer who, funnily enough, I actually usually write my first page and my last page first. That was true when I did Before I Fall. It was true when I did Delirium. And actually, not only did I write the last page of Delirium first, as I started writing it, but I actually conceived of the last page of Pandemonium and the last page of Requiem. So those were really important markers for me and that's kind of how I, I like to stake the ending in the ground so that I know what I'm tending toward, what I'm aiming for. Um, it's kind of like defining the playing field um, before you start uh, kicking around a ball. But in terms of techniques I used, you know, I have to say no, uh, that that was just something that came to me and it felt like the book had to end that way and that's that was very important to me that it end that way, even though it generated lots of controversy. So if you haven't read it, you should. Uh, so I think that just came from, again, my creative vision for the whole book series as a whole. Ivan Valdez from YouTube asked, Alex versus Kent. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to go with Kent, which is crazy, but only because Alex has had to deal with so much, uh, so much over the course of that series. So I think he'd be a little bit of a broken bird, whereas Kent just lives in the suburbs and he's like, from a really happy family. So he'd probably be a little bit of a better boyfriend at this point. Cheermon Key XOX from YouTube. Do you have any ho other hobbies besides writing and reading? Well, those are my two primary ones. So um, those are definitely how I spend about 90% of my time. But yes, I do. I love to cook. Um, I don't particularly like cooking for myself, but I love hosting big dinners with all my friends and I'm pretty banging at it too. Um, Epic Reads from Tumblr. Would you rather live in a world without Heinz ketchup or spend a year in federal prison? Pick one and tell us why. Well, you could probably guess this because it's the obvious answer, but I'm gonna have to go with pick a year in federal prison. Um, I can't really eat that much stuff without ketchup. I love ketchup, I put it on everything, and it is the best food, and I have multiple reasons, both emotional and scientific, for saying so. Um, and if I got to spend a year in federal prison, I mean, then I'd have a really great thing to write about. I could be like a staff writer on Orange is the Next Black. Um, that's it for this episode of Ask Lauren Oliver. Don't forget to send me your questions on Twitter, on YouTube, on Tumblr, and uh, I will see you next week from Europe. Take care.